it's still going to be everybody in the world. What happened in December was just speculation going long on the asset. Now that it was able to be shorted with all of these future markets and the contracts that were out there, we, we saw a healthy change in the pricing. But the infrastructure was still not built. The whole infrastructure will be built from the failures and the mischief of people like Facebook and Google and these other huge companies that have come up and are really peddling in all our own information. So while last year might have been the slogan HODL with the misplaced DL, what everyone's really talking about this year is Biddle. So they've replaced the D and the L this time, and it's really about building the infrastructure. So a lot of this will be built off of people who are actually using this stuff, and that's where we're not yet. We haven't arrived at that point. It's all been speculation. That was great. It was a, a really neat run. Much healthier that there was someone who could actually short it. Who do you think is using it now? Really no one. That's the problem. Uh, we see a few markets going into place. The only real use case besides the inherent qualities of Bitcoin which as a commodity. As a commodity. <laughs> right. Besides the inherent qualities of Bitcoin, it's really behaving like a reserve currency for an, an alternative financial system, not just one asset. And the other system that's out there is this one smart contract, this one use case that's being used, which are the ICOs, the numbers you heard about earlier. It's already disrupting this early stage liquidity and finance world where we see a blending of, of VC entering liquid markets and all kinds of stuff that didn't exist before. So what we have now is Bitcoin behaving as a reserve currency in an alternative financial system, which is only really affecting early stage fundraising. So before, maybe in the fall of last year, the bull case would be that to invest in cryptocurrency, you're, you're investing basically in the future of technology and blockchain. Can we, se can we separate those two? Is that, is that more tenable to believe that cryptocurrency is a store of value, but at the same time we're seeing all sorts of, of use cases, all sorts of things being built on various platforms. The, the development of the technology has not stopped because Bitcoin has gone down That's by 60%. Exact. That's so exactly can we separate it. those two now? Can you say, I'm a believer in blockchain, but I'm not a believer in cryptocurrency? They're, they're one and the same. The, the coins themselves are a way to enact this sort of cryptographic function. But you don't function. have to believe in the... In you don't have the, to believe in Bitcoin itself. You could believe in Zcash. You could believe in Ethereum. You no, could, but in terms of the appreciation right. of those coins. You don't have to believe in the appreciation of those coins because that's separate from the development of the technology. Sure, and that's yeah. been there for a long time. People have been able to, to separate them for a while now, but that doesn't um, erase the behavior of Bitcoin in this system. Bitcoin is a unique element to this entire ecosystem, and none of it would be possible if it wasn't for what Bitcoin did before that. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.